When applying these pacification, it is necessary to rob it of its ability to defend itself and thus present a hazard for occupational forces. All that takes is often a few tweaks to a couple of orbiting satellites and aiming their projectors to the surface. Most of the pacification systems consist of countermeasures to ignition points for fusion and fission, and from time to time, electromagnetic pulse generation. When you take a world back several centuries or more in technology, the infrastructure tends to lose cohesion, often permanently, and any form of help being offered, regardless of the cost, is accepted, and a world is thus enslaved for pennies on the dollar. Unfortunately, this technique requires a few elements to be in play. The planet must be single world, meaning they have no off-world settlements. The world must not have a standing platform in orbit around it. The planet must be compliant by nature when confronted with exceptional challenges. We managed to score two out of three of those circumstances. The third is the knife poised above our heads, and we await its descent. We'd read about the humans, and the literature without fail described them as deeply problematic, survivalists to the extreme. Their death was their playground more than their actual demises. They had settlements in regions other species would have declared no-fly, zero contact areas without any attempt at rehabilitating them. Their food is classified as a biohazard in dozens of worlds, universally condemned for mass consumption by most others, and in a few cases, weaponized for deployment in the field. Free dishes qualify as narcotics, and are heavily scrutinized for off-world production. In short, we knew it'd be a problem, and we signed off on it immediately. To fail in providing for our client, it'd be unfathomable, honestly. Everywhere we pacified, it was money in the bank and a favour in our cap, to say nothing of a stroke to our egos. Eight billion plus change, versus a system that had a 100% success rate, inclusive of over 19 Class G death worlds, while this one rated a simple Class K. It was basic mathematics on our side, as well as the weight of progressive technological adaptation, expansion and renewal. Then we discover the first of the cloth and wood framed aircraft in a field after a routine sweep. A month later an engine used a stripped stolen hydrogen battery. Two weeks later, pressurized tanks of rocket propellant. That next night, noises on the exterior of Recon 4 Satellite 6. Five hours later, the disappearances of Recon 4 Satellites 1 through 8. And tonight, now, this message for you, our former employer. The humans are offering a one-time deal, which I cannot stress enough that you should take seriously and abide by, at your exceptional detriment. You tell them who hired you to cleanse their world of life, or they're going to kill your entire species inside of a Terran Prime standard month. With the snap delay between Anselinks, this message is 18 of their days old by the time it has been received. Consider what you will do with those remaining 12 days. I suggest that you inform your citizenry that the humans are not the boogeymen of legend. They are coming to take what they feel that they are owed and bearing a gift for you. They will be bringing you fire from their world. We did not fail. We have simply switched employers. End transmission.